Okay, so here we are in chapter four review. We're gonna be going through questions one through nine. Okay, so starting with number one, um, to create a visual chart of all methods, formulas, and examples of how to work through exp exponents and polynomials. Um, so we did this in chapters one through three. Um, all you're gonna do is you're just going to take a piece of paper, um, split it into all the sections that you have, which for chapter four, you only have four sections. So you'll just label them 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 and 4.4. And then in each one, you just kind of write what you want to remember um, so that you can remember it for this test. And then also you get the sheet of paper for the final test. Okay, so then going on to number two, we're just going to um, do this rule, which because we have the same basis, we can go ahead and just add the exponents together because we're multiplying. So if we do two, plus minus four, that's going to be um, two, just subtract four. We're gonna get three, negative two. And then technically we can um, simplify this more by making this exponent a positive. And we can do that by creating, making this a fraction. So we can say one over three to the second. And then three to the second is just going to give you nine. So one over nine is gonna be our final answer here. Going on to number three, uh, we have an exponent and it's being multiplied in um, essentially. So we're going to take this exponent and bring it to the two and to the three. We're actually gonna have two to the second and three to the second. And then we just have two, two to the second is gonna equal four. And then three to the second is gonna equal nine. So our final answer for number three is going to be four over nine. Yeah, just remember with these that you just need to multiply all the um, terms that you have in the parentheses. Okay, coming on to number four, um, this is going to get a little bit more complicated because we have a lot of negatives that we need to make positive again. Um, so wherever we have a negative, we're just going to um, bring it to the bottom. And where we have a negative on the bottom, we're going to bring it to the top of the fraction. Okay, so if we do that, starting at the top, m to the negative second, well, we're going to make it positive positive and bring, bring it down and make it m to the second. And a to the second stays on top. t to the third goes on bottom because it's t to the negative three. Um, h to the third is going to go on the bottom because it's negative on top. And then going on the bottom, h to the second stays on bottom because it's positive. a to the negative seventh is going to go on top to make a to the seventh. Um, p to the second will stay on the bottom because it's already positive. Uh, p to the negative third will actually go to the top to be p to the third. And then y to the second is going to stay on the bottom. Okay, so then if we want to um, go ahead and simplify it, um, we're going to find like bases. So I'm going to start with the a's on top. Um, to do this, it's going to be kind of like a number two where we're just going to add the exponents together. So our first term is going to be a to the ninth. Um, and then let's go ahead and go to the p's. Well, there's uh, p to the second on bottom and p to the third on top. When we're dividing, we just go ahead and minus those exponents. So three minus two is just gonna be one. So we're just gonna have one p up there. Um, then going to the bottom, uh, there's no other m's. So we're just gonna leave it m to the second. There's no other t's. So we're gonna leave it um, t to the third. Um, then we have the h's. So we have h to the third and h to the second. We're going to go ahead and just add those exponents together and have h to the fifth. And then we got rid of the p. And then going on to y, we don't have any other y's, so it's just going to be y to the second. And this is going to be our final answer there. Going on to number five, um, again, we're just going to start simplifying by bringing this negative one exponent to all the terms inside the parentheses here. Um, so on top stays the same, it's just gonna be g to the fourth, m to the third. And then on the bottom, we're gonna have um, negative two times negative one is gonna be two, so a to the second. Um, g, so there's a one in the exponent on the g, so we do one times negative one, which is gonna be negative one, so g to the negative first. Um, and then, let me go ahead and erase this. We have m to the second. So uh, negative one times two is going to equal negative two. So m to the negative second. Okay, so then we're gonna bring the um, negatives up to make them positive. 
So we actually have g to the fourth, g to the first, m to the second, m to the third, and then all over a to the second. So this is because we brought all those negatives up. So now we're just going to simplify more by um, finding the like basis and just adding those exponents together. So um, we have g to the fifth, and then m to the second times m to the third. We're just going to add those exponents again, so we get m to the fifth. And then on the bottom, we just have a to the second. And that's the final answer for number five. Okay, going on to the next one. We are going to go ahead and just multiply this negative two or bring the exponent to all the terms inside here. Uh, so this first one, we're just going to leave it four negative two on top. And then we, it's just the exponent on x is just one. So one times negative two is going to be x to the negative second. And then y to the third, well, three times negative two is going to be negative six. So y negative six. Now we go to all the terms on the bottom here. Um, and we're going to distribute it, it to all of them. So starting with the first one, we have three to the negative second. Um, so we have x squared and two times negative two is going to be negative four. We have x to the negative fourth. And then we have y to the negative fifth. When we multiply negative five by negative two, we get 10. So we're just going y to the 10th. And then z to the third, three times negative two is gonna be negative six. So we have z to the negative six on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so then kind of what, what we've been doing on all the other problems is we are going to um, bring either the negatives on top down or the negatives on bottom up. So starting with four negative two, um, I'm gonna bring it over here. We're gonna start, four to the negative two needs to go on bottom to make it positive. So now we just have four to the second, then x to the negative two, we're gonna bring that on bottom as well to make it positive, so x squared. And then y to the negative six, we're also gonna bring it to the bottom and we're gonna make it positive there. Then going to the bottom numbers, starting with three negative two, we're gonna bring that up and we're gonna call it three to the second. And then x to the negative four, we have to bring it up as well and make it x to the fourth. Um, y to the 10th is already positive. So we can go ahead and just leave it in the denominator there. And then z to the negative sixth, we're gonna bring that up and make it z positive six. Okay, so now we can simplify this further. Uh, the numbers that we have, three to the second is going to be nine up here, and four to the second on the bottom is gonna be 16. Um, we can go ahead and see same basis. So we have um, an x to the fourth and an x squared. When we divide those, the exponents need to be minus. So we have four minus two, which is gonna give us x to the second, um, because it'll get rid of it there and just leave two here. Um, z to the sixth, because it's the only z there, we're just going to leave it there. And then we have y's for bases. And since they're both on the uh, in the denominator, we can go ahead and just multiply these together and add those exponents. So we have y to the 16th on bottom. And then that's your final answer for number six. Going on to seven, um, we're again going to distribute that four into each of the terms that we have here. Um, and then also on the bottom here. So just starting at the top, uh, we have two to the fourth, and then a to the negative five times four is gonna be a to the negative 20th. Um, b to the four, four times four is gonna be 16. And then c to the negative one, negative one times four is gonna be c to the negative fourth. And then on the bottom, we have a to the negative two times four, so that's gonna be a, to the negative eighth, and then b to the ninth times four is gonna be b to the 36th. Okay, so now again, we're gonna bring those negatives either um, to the bottom or on top, um, depending on where they are. So starting with uh, that two to the fourth, it stays on top because it's not negative. And then a to the negative 20th, to make it positive, we have to bring it down and make it a to the 20th. b to the 16th is already positive, so you can leave it as such. And then c to the negative four, um, we need to bring that down to make it positive, so c to the fourth. 
Um, a to the negative eighth is, um, is negative, so we have to bring it on top to make it positive. Uh, so we have a to the eighth, and then b to the 63rd, 36th, sorry, is um, going to stay as such because it's a positive number in the denominator. Okay, so then if we want to simplify this further, further two to the fourth can be reduced down to 16. Um, same basis here, we have um, b to the 16th and then b to the 36th. We do 16 minus 36, that's gonna give us b to the 20th um, in the bottom. So hold on, let me erase this really fast. So because 36 is the bigger number here, we're gonna actually leave our b's in the bottom and 36 minus 16 equals um, that 20. So it's gonna be b to the 20 on the bottom. If we just subtracted these like normal, we would have gotten um, b to the negative 20th and then realized we would have had to bring it down to the denominator if we did it that way. But we can see that it's just bigger on bottom, so it just cancels out the top. Um, same kind of goes for a, because we um, have more on the bottom than we do on the top. If we do 20 minus 18, it leaves us with 12. And that 12 is gonna be in the bottom because a to the eighth will just cancel. And then c to the fourth stays on the bottom. So really our answer is um, 16 and then b to the 20th, a to the 12th and c to the fourth. So there's our answer for number seven. Going on to number eight, um, we are gonna go ahead and start these division problems by dividing the regular numbers. So I'm gonna bring up my calculator really fast. Okay, and we're just gonna divide both of those numbers. So if we do 6.3781 divided by 1.989, that is going to equal 3.20, and then I'm actually gonna round it because it says to round to three decimal places. So I'm gonna round it to seven here. Um, and then we have to see what kind of exponent is gonna go on the 10. Um, and honestly, where, where this is going to, to end up. Um, so because we have um, 10 to the third and 10 to the 30th, um, we, ha we see that 30 is the bigger number um, than three. So we're gonna do 30 minus three, which is gonna give us 27 and it will be negative 27. Because if we just do it um, like regular, hold on one second. If we just minus it like regular, it would be three minus 30, which would give us a negative 27. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave it like that because this is scientific notation. Um, it is okay to leave it like that. Okay, so then coming on to number nine, um, again, we are going to divide the numbers here. So if we do 150, sorry, 1.51 divided by 5.002, it's going to give us 0 0.3, um, 0, then I'm going to go 19. Okay, so we have this decimal here. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do the negative 7 minus negative 5, which is just going to be adding it. So we're actually going to come out with 10 to the negative second here because negative seven plus five is going to be negative two. Okay, but we're not done yet because um, to have this totally completely simplified, we need something here in the ones place. So we actually need to move this decimal um, one to the right to make it 3.019. Um, this is also going to change our exponent because um, if we're going to move one to the right, we actually have to um, add another one here. So really, we're going to be um, negative three here. Um, and we can always check that because if we move it to the left three, um, it should come out with the number that we wanted, um, which it does. So 3.019 times 10 to the negative third. Is that going to be our answer for number nine? 